Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. I follow the ketogenic diet along with alternate day fasting, although these days I would consider myself more low carb and alternate day fasting. So this is an update as far as getting back into alternate day fasting and to tell you like where I'm at with my weight right now. So this week I was determined to get back into alternate day fasting. I have been struggling since January to complete one full week of alternate day fasting, which for me is three full days of fasting. I would get maybe one fasting day in a week or maybe two days. The third day just would not happen. Um, so I was really struggling and I wanted to get back into routine because this is my happy place. Alternate day fasting and not having to count carbs and calories. Um, I mean, I consider myself still more ketovore, which means I'm not like going out and eating pizza and whole grain breads and oatmeal and potatoes, none of that. Um, but I would consider myself to be more low carb because I don't know how many carbs I'm having a day. Anyhow, so um, at the start of this week, I got on the scale and I was 191.2 pounds. So my first day of fasting was Sunday. Um, so I fast on Sundays, I fast on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I take off Fridays and Saturdays because those are my days off from work. So I just like to keep on this schedule and I really like the freedom of having no fasting days on the weekend. So I could just wake up right away and have a morning coffee every morning and just enjoy that. But anyhow, um, so I was 191.2 at the beginning of the week. This morning, after completing a full week of fasting, which is those three days, I weighed in at 186.2, which is a five pound loss. Um, honestly, like fasting is just the fastest way for me to lose weight. And that's why I really enjoy it. And it is easy. It gets easier. Um, but one product that really helped me get through this week fasting and stick to my plan was the Fastful Intermittent Fasting Bars. I saw these advertised on, um, I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram, but they had like a trial where you could get four of these for $8.95 and that included shipping. So I figured why not, I'm gonna try it. So these bars are really designed for intermittent fasting of the 18-6 window or the 16-8 window, something like that. They don't really advertise that this is an extended fasting bar, but I just wanted to see, hey, if that could even help me get through you know, an 18 hour fast, um, 20 hour fast, 24 hour fast to just kind of push me through, then I'm going to try it. So that's what I did is I went ahead and tried these bars. So I ate my very first one on Sunday evening. It was the last meal of the day. And that's how these bars are intended. You eat them as your last meal of the day. So on that particular day, I just ate the bars. And this is the blueberry muffin one. And that's what my sampler pack was, was four blueberry muffin bars. I think they also have a sampler pack where you can get um, two of the blueberry muffins and two of the fudge brownies, but we'll talk about this one in a moment. So here's the clip. Okay guys, it is now 6.55 p.m. and I'm about to start, about to start fasting. So I'm going to go ahead and try the Fastful fasting bar. Kind of disappointed that I didn't get my dinner in fast enough because it is, um, I think I ate my chicken like around six o'clock. So I just roasted some chicken in the air fryer, cooked it in the air fryer, whatever, with just some seasoning and some oil. And I was really looking forward to like having some kind of keto treat tonight before the fasting bar, but like I'm running out of time. So I don't have the time to enjoy a treat and then this. So this is going to be the final meal for today and it's dessert. So I'm going to open it and see how it tastes. Okay, so it already kind of reminds me of the um, collagen bar, the bulletproof collagen bar that I tried in one of my videos recently. This smells good though. I can smell the blueberry. But yeah, just look at that. It looks exactly like I'm having nightmares, flashbacks. 
to that collagen protein bar. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. It, honestly, guys, it does not look appetizing at all to me. I mean, that's nice that there's chunks of blueberries and stuff in there, but I don't know. The texture of this, just holding this, it really scares me. Like, I'm afraid it's gonna be dry and probably because some of the reviews were saying it was dry, but here we go. Let me drink some sparkling water. Okay. So the texture is kind of dry. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Definitely not making me like wanting to spit the bite out like the collagen bar did. So it's not bad. Um, the texture is not crumbly like that collagen bar was too. Um, there's a little bit of a chew to it. it definitely has a strong blueberry flavor. Um, I mean, it's pretty close to tasting like what you would imagine a keto blueberry muffin would taste like. You're getting like the flavor if you were to make like the Lakanto blueberry muffin mix, if you were to make something like that, that's what this tastes like. But the texture is not bad. I'm gonna finish eating this bar, but I'll check in tomorrow night and let you guys know how my hunger is. So I'm hoping that with these bars that they just kind of help me get through this hump so I can get back into my fasting schedule because that is my happy place. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'll check in. Hi guys, so um, it is ooh, uh, 6.50 p.m. Sunday night. So I am just now hitting like 24 hours into my fast. And um, honestly, I have to say that just from one day of using the fast full fasting bars, I already feel a difference. Um, Right now, my stomach feels like it's just now on the edge of starting to growl, where normally I would experience my stomach growling at the lunch hour. Um, and then usually like around 4, 4.30, something like that. Typically, the closer it gets to bedtime, I don't really feel my stomach growling anymore. But honestly, I'm, I'm really pleased with this bar so far. Um, but I went ahead and placed an order today. So, cause I only have like three more bars left and I'll need two for the rest of this week. Um, so I wanted to have bars to help me get through because I stepped on the scale this morning and it was bad news guys. I could not believe how much weight I have put on since, uh, December. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. That'll be my next fasting day. And just let you know if I still feel like the bars are helping me out. So anyhow, see you then. Hi guys, it is Tuesday night and this is my second fasting day of the week. Um, it's about seven o'clock PM. So I'm just now hitting the 24 hour mark from when I started my fast last night. 100% um, convinced that the fast full fasting bars help for fasting. Um, not even just for the intermittent fasting that they're designed for, but for extended fasting because I am now at the 24 hour mark and not once has my stomach growled today. So I'm really happy about that. Um, at work, you know, the smells of people's lunches around me didn't bother me. Um, I just drank some sparkling water, stomach didn't growl like normally. It's, it's always growling on my lunch hour and usually growls around four o'clock in the afternoon, 4.30, something like that. Hasn't growled yet. Um, I suspect right now it's just getting on the verge where I think it could start growling a little bit, but, um, I tend to go to bed early on my fasting days. I like to go to bed around nine o'clock. And so once I'm in bed, it's not even an issue if my stomach is growling. Yeah. I'm just really pleased with these bars. After day one of fasting, I was already convinced that these bars do in fact help you hold off on any hunger pangs. I did not experience any hunger pangs um, the first day of using them. My second fasting day, again, I was totally convinced after that that these bars are miracle bars because again, I experienced no hunger pangs, breezed right in through that fasting day. Um, 
I did experience a headache my very first day of fasting for the week, but that is typical. That, that is what I have seen on what I would call the induction phase, which means I've taken some kind of break from fasting and trying to get back into it. It's always that very first fasting day, I will get a really bad headache. Last month, I had experienced a severe headache to the point where it made me nauseated and I vomited. Um, it did not get that bad this time. In fact, I popped... Um, I popped some uh, tension headache medicine as soon as I felt the headache in the evening so that it wouldn't get any worse. And that did help. Um, so after two days of fasting, I was totally hooked on these bars. So I went ahead and I placed another order. So I placed an order for the um, blueberry muffin box and the fudge brownie. They do have a chocolate peanut butter one, but that one was sold out. So I figured, okay, I'll try the fudge brownie. So I ordered these bars, I wanna say I ordered them Monday after I was not experiencing any hunger pangs and I thought, hey, these are working, I'm gonna order them and I only have, if I use three this week, then that means I'm only gonna have one left to start next week and I didn't wanna run out. I wanted to have these bars on hand to help push me through my fasting. So I went ahead and ordered them. Um, I believe I did order them on Monday. They came on Wednesday, I think they came uh, UPS. And, um, so I was able to eat the fudge brownie flavor on Wednesday evening. And, um, again, no hunger pangs at all yesterday. It was a breeze to get through my fasting. The idea of these bars is that, uh, there is, it says featuring slow release micellar casein protein. So that's the idea behind these bars is that, it's slowly re releasing the protein over your fasting period so that you don't get hungry, I guess. Um, I don't know if these bars are ideal for autophagy. Right now, I'm not concerned about autophagy. I still care about weight loss. I'm still trying to get to a goal weight, um, which I'm hoping that by uh, May, I'm hoping to lose like another 25 pounds from what I weigh right now. That would be ideal. Now let's talk about the fudge brownie flavor. Uh, this is gross. I can't say that it's like terrible, like gagging, like I was struggling to get it down. It wasn't that, it wasn't like that. The bar itself just doesn't look good. And, and honestly, even the blueberry muffin, these are not like super tasty bars, like Quest bars or heck of good bars, you know, where you just want to chomp them down. They're not like that. And I don't care really about the flavor on these per se, because if it's going to help me get through a fast with no hunger pangs, then I don't care what it tastes like, as long as I can get it down and it's going to help with those effects. So these absolutely did. Um, but I will say the blueberry muffin for me is much more enjoyable in flavor, even though I don't like it all that great. Uh, the texture is very dry. It's not really sweet in flavor. So it's not going to trigger you to like start binging on things that are sweet when you have this and you feel the effects of being full almost immediately after eating it. So like on flavor, I would probably rate this one a three because it's, it's just subpar. It's not that great. You know, um, the fudge brownie one, I would have to rate this like maybe a two. I won't give it a one because, you know, I was able to get it down without gagging or anything. So I will give this a two. For any of you that are considering trying these bars, I would recommend staying away from this one. I can't speak for the chocolate peanut butter one because they were sold out. So I wasn't able to try it, but I'm already thinking that if this fudge brownie one tastes like crap, that there's a good chance that chocolate brownie one may also be disappointing for me at least. So I may just end up sticking with the blueberry muffin. And then I will just go ahead and tell you the nutrition information on these in case you're curious. So one bar is 60 grams and it says that it's 200 calories. Uh, there's The total fat is seven grams. There is uh, 23 grams of total carbs and there's 15 grams of dietary fiber. So what is that? Seven grams of net carbs for one of these bars. Um, there is... The total sugars is three and the protein is 21 grams. So that is a lot of protein you're getting in one of these bars. So like I said, I went ahead and I ordered two boxes. When I ordered, they had a BOGO offer. So you buy one and you get the second one 50% off. So I took advantage of that deal. And that's where we are. I didn't quite gain 20 pounds from the holidays, but um, 
you know, more than, more than I really wished I had. So here on out, we are going to be eating these bars and getting through three full days of fasting. I'm very tempted to even fast with the normal fasting alternate day schedule um, during my cycle, which I have not been doing that. I've been following Dr. Mindy's protocol still of at least not fasting the three days before your period and um, not really like carving up. I have been eating some dried fruit on those days. I, I will have like dried figs or dates. I'm not sure if I will just skip that protocol this month um, just to try to get myself jump started back into losing weight because I really want to be like skinnier, thinner by uh, the summertime. That would be nice. There's my quick review on the Fastful Bars. I don't have a discount code for you guys, but I will put a link down below to the website in case you're interested in trying out the trial of these. Um, when you first go to the website, right at the very top, there will be a little banner advertising you to try these for $8.95. I highly recommend that you, if, you know, if you're on the fence about which flavor should I try, should I try the fudge brownie or the blueberry muffin, go ahead and get the variety pack. Um, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed with the blueberry muffin. The fudge brownie might be a different story. You might be disappointed. Um, the only way I was able to get this down quickly was I chopped it up and put it over some enlightened ice cream. That was my last meal. And, um, that kind of hid some of the flavor in this bar by doing so. Um, I would open it up, but then it's going to sit around until like Sunday until I can eat it. But it's not very appetizing looking. The bar is very dry. Um, chalky you know how chocolate like when you've had it sit around for a couple months and you open it, it has that white coating that white like fat layer coating over it it's kind of what this looks like it was very chalky on the outside and just did not look appetizing so it was nice just to mix it up with some ice cream maybe some too good yogurt you could chop it up over too good yogurt and get it down that way um, I hope you guys liked this update please stay tuned and I will probably do another way in next week and tell you like you know how I did as far as trying to get through another three days of fasting for the week I need to get back on this schedule I need to get results again um, thank you all for watching this if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and when you do don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that'll notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one